Hi. So today we are going to learn a new method to solve linear equations. That is the Cramer's rule. Now before understanding what is a Cramer's rule, we should first understand what is a determinant. A determinant is an arrangement of numbers in square form inside two lines. Now how to solve determinant? Now there are four numbers inside two straight lines. The numbers are 3, 2, 4 and 5. So what we need to do is we need to cross multiply and subtract them. That is we need to multiply 3 with 5 that is 15 minus we need to multiply 4 with 2 that is 8. So 15 minus 8 will give you 7. This is how we solve a determinant. Let's have another example of determinant. Minus 1, 7, 2, 4. We need to multiply minus 1 with 4 minus we need to multiply 2 with 7. So that will be minus 18. We'll have a look at a little more complicated example which involves fractions. 7 by 3, 5 by 3, 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. So 7 by 3 into 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 into 5 by 3. Remember, when we need to multiply the fractions, we need to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So 7 into 1 will give you 7 and 3 into 2 will give you 6 minus 15 upon 6. Now we have two fractions, we need to subtract them. As the denominator is already same, we just need to subtract the numerators. That is 7 minus 15 upon 6 will get minus 8 by 6. So this is how to solve a determinant. Now let us have a look at how do we solve two equations using Cramer's rule. Cramer's rule is the rule which uses determinants to solve it. Now, first of all, we need to mention the coefficients of x and y in one determinant. The coefficients of x and y of the given equations are 3, minus 4, 4 and 3. Okay, so we'll solve this determinant and we'll get the value of determinant as 25. Now, this determinant is to be named as capital D. Now, what we'll do is we'll find another determinant, we'll name it as dx and we'll replace the terms of x, that is 3 and 4, with the constant coefficients, that is 10 and 5. So, our determinant becomes 10 minus 4, 5, 3. Solving this, I'll get the value of dx as 50. Now, the third determinant, that is dy. Now, what is dy? I need to replace the coefficients of y, that is minus 4 and 3, with the constant coefficients, that is 10 and 5. Hence, I'll get the value of dy as minus 25. Now, how is x calculated? x is calculated by dx upon d that is 50 upon 25 that will be 2 and y is calculated by the formula dy upon d that is minus 25 by 25 that is minus 1. This is how we solve the equations using Cramer's rule.